Hello everyone. We'll be starting our day with the name of God, the most beneficent, the most gracious, and the most merciful. The value of the day. We'll be learning something more about Word. In this Word, we are looking at and its different features. The feature which we are going to discuss right now is splitting a document, to break up a window into two and view different parts of a document at the same time. Is splitting a document actually, yes. It can be accessed by selecting split from the window group on the view tab. It's available for you on the view tab. And the two windows can be reunited after selecting remove split from the window group. When we split the window, MS Word places a horizontal split bar on the screen. We'll be looking at how does it work. It is actually used to edit long text in the document and current document splits into two panes. Each pane will be scrolled independently. We can work on two sections of document side by side at the same time. And it is available for you over here in split. New tab, split. As you can see, a horizontal split bar is there for you. And you can move on inside your document from here, scrolling down. It will be taking you to different pages. Page two right now, as you can see over here. Page two of four, second page. Then we'll be going till the last end of the document. It's page four out of four. So that's the end of the document. You can change the size of this. Once it changes into double arrow, you can change it according to your needs. So then you can move upper side from these side scroll bars. This is how it works. And once we are done working with that, editing all sides of all parts of our document, we can remove it from here, remove split. Done. Next feature which we are going to look at is inserting text or find and replace text. We need to go to home tab and then replace or press CTRL plus H. These are two different places from where you can find and replace text. First one is home tab and replace, that's it. Otherwise, you can just press CTRL plus H and it will be providing you find and replace text box. Second point, enter the word or phrase you want to locate in the find box. Enter your name, enter your new text in the replace box. And select find next until you come to the word you want to update. Choose replace to update all instances at once. Choose replace all. Words can be replaced in the whole document in this way. Let's see how does it work. I must word document right there in front of you. And you just need to press CTRL plus H by pressing this. I have this dialog box which is find and replace box. What is there available for you? I can change any word with any. I can tell them to find window, find the word window and replace it with up to you, wind. Replace all. It's saying that it has done all done and made 16 replacements. The window was written over here previously and it has changed it into when. This is how you can replace any word in the whole document, no matter how long the document is. You can change any word with any other different word. This is the feature of find and replace. This is how we can insert text and find any word in the document and replace it with any other word. 
The next feature we are going to discuss is the last one, which is undo and redo commands. The undo command allows us to reverse the last action performed. The undo command can be selected from the quick access toolbar or by pressing CTRL plus C keys. These are the two different ways to get it. First one, this is the quick access toolbar as you can see over here. It's available in figure as well. And other ways, CTRL plus C, which will be doing undo for the words you have done or actions you have performed. To do undo, you will be just CTRL plus C, easy way, or you can go to quick access toolbar, which is located at the leftmost side, leftmost upper side, or the other feature that is redo command, it repeats the last action performed. The redo command can be selected from the quick access toolbar again. Both arrows are available side by side on quick access toolbar or by pressing CTR plus Y. Actually, CTR plus Z was uh, doing uh, for undo the words. And to do redo, you need to have the shortcut key, which is CTR plus Y. Let's see how does it work. All right, over here, we are having two arrows along with the same sign. The first one is redo. The second one is undo. Okay, let's see how does they work. This is the quick access toolbar as well. All these three, four options all together are called quick access toolbar. So I'll be just deleting this group. Once I have deleted this group word, I'll be going to this undo option. After clicking it, the group is again available for you. All right, fine. And now I'll be looking at what this redo do the, does for you. It's repeating the last action, which was the deleting the word. So they both work side by side and helps you in editing and they are having their shortcut keys so don't forget to uh, for the first one the re, for the redo it's ctr plus z and for sorry for undo it's ctr plus z and for redo it's ctr plus y these both features work side by side Thank you so much for watching. This is all from my side. Thanks a lot.